Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to another Sims 4 build for my little town. Today, I am doing the cupcake shop slash cafe. Uh, it's mostly a cafe. It's not really a cupcake shop. I did create a little basement for it to put the cupcake thing. I had a lot of trouble figuring out the layout for this place because it was such a, a small shop, but it, it turned out to be this, like, bohemian sort of hipstery you know, thing. Uh, I really wanted to get the cupcake, um, cupcake maker upstairs, but instead I put it in a basement. I didn't really decorate the basement. It's literally just colored with the, um, with the, you know, the cupcake maker inside of it. And because like I had such limited space and I really wanted the, the coffee thing in there as well, I, I decided to make the basement for it. And it turned out all right. <laughs> so it's it's kind of cute and really bohemian. So yeah, that's where I made the basement. And I'll just put a light in it, color the walls and the floor, and that's pretty much about it. And it's hidden behind a wall and everything like that. So I struggled so hard to get this to work. Um, again, it's another fully functioning shop that you can totally run independently. Uh, in this build, I tried to make everything sort of independent on its own. And then if you were to download this community lot, which is live on the gallery, um, you could do so. And I struggled to also find, you know, the matching counters to, to make it all look nice and neat and also getting everything that I wanted. I wanted the little display case for the cupcakes to be sold. I wanted a register so that you could sell things. But I also wanted it to look all the same. And, you know, if you know anything about The Sims 4 and its recolors, uh, they don't always match. So there's that. But I I think I did a, a well enough job that most things matched. Um, and, yeah. It's pretty, pretty cute. If I do say so myself. Yeah, so like nothing matches uh like perfectly. So I had to go with the simple black coloring of the of the thing. I kind of wanted it to be brown, but the only ones that would match perfectly with all the other, you know, options were the black ones, so I had to go with that. Sadly, but you know what? It's not terrible, and I shoved the counters a little bit in the wall so those coverts wouldn't sort of the counter wouldn't clip through the cupboards because I pulled them in a little to match up with the cupboards on the upper level. And yeah, it's got a cute bohemian vibe. I used a lot of stuff from Get Together or City Living. City Living, I think it is. Yes, I used a lot of stuff from City Living. I always get those two packs confused. I don't know why. They are completely different packs. Um, one is like a Tudor style and the other one's a bohemian, you know, apartment style. So yeah, a lot of stuff from City Living in this build. Oh, I guess there is stuff. Those tables are from thing. And I found a little chair to put in the woodworking shop. I do that a lot throughout this build. Uh, I'll find something. I'm like, this would look cute here. This would look cute here. Um, but those those tables are from uh, Get Together. So I guess I didn't completely lie. <laughs> I I just kind of wanted everything to, to match. And since I had the windows red I also wanted to bring some red into this and I was gonna go with like a vintage style of paintings all over the walls but I decided to go with more of a bohemian modern sort of random uh eclectic stuff all over the walls and I felt like that was just cuter in a way uh what else did I do for this I did a lot of stuff for this uh it's it's still another short video another seven minute video I'm not doing like the normal 10 minutes because I, I just decided, you know, uh, screw hitting 10 minutes. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, I kind of wanted to create like a little couch area, but this place was just too small for it. And I really wanted to use those couches. But it, yeah, like I said, it was too small. I just went with two small tables and a bunch of like art on the walls. And then I found a poster for the, uh, for the laundromat. I think I did that more with this build than any other build where I found things that would look cute in other parts of the build. And yeah, and those are from, those posters are from Cool Kitchen Stuff. And I thought like the little coffee cup with the heart was perfect. And I wanted to bring more color into it by adding that. 
And then I gave it like the exposed brick style wall to make it super... I was going to do more wood. I'm like, eh, I already did that wall being wood. So you know what? Let's just use the brown color that's outside. And I'll use the tile, um, tile brick looking stuff as well. So it's got the white and the browns and it's very warm and cozy. Oh, did I change it all back to brown? I think I did. Yeah. To match the, the, the walls. Uh, yeah, I went with brown and orange for the chairs and did a bunch of different colors and I totally forgot about that, but I did, I did it. And now I'm just going to look through debug items to find little coffee shop items. And then I realized that once you put the cupcakes down, they disappear. Oh yeah. I found that stuff in the debugs and I was just like, this is all going. So this is a bit of the woodworking shop too. Just checking in more stuff, which was uh, Monday's video. So if you wanted to watch that, that is also in the playlist that this is in. You can watch them all together or, you know, separately, whenever you want. You can, though. They're all there, and they will all be there once I finish this. I think I got about four or five more videos. Hang on, let me check. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more videos for this playlist. So that'll be the next six videos if I don't make something new. I was going to have a very big downstairs area, but I shrunk it just to be a little bit smaller. Um, just because it didn't really need that space. But if you wanted to create a bigger basement, you could. And I was like trying to figure out what else I could put down here. But I'm like, you know what? This area doesn't exactly need to be fancy. Um, so I just left it with just the cupcake maker. And I kind of never went back to it. Some lighting. And I liked, I love those lights. And since I went with the orange chairs, I was like, I can use the orange lights too. And it made it feel more, more bohemian. I use that word so much, but I, 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 it's something that I really, it's a style that I, oh, kitty. It's a style that, oh, my cat just knocked something over, silly kitty. Uh, it's a style that I don't, you know, particularly have in everyday life, but it is a cute style. And I thought it would work good for a little hipster coffee shop. <laughs> But that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Hit that with a like if you liked it and subscribe for more content. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I'd love to see you again. Have an amazing day.